Hey there riders, MotoJourno Chris here and I want to talk about updates to Moto Guzzi's model line for 2021. We heard about the V7 updates in December, which is the biggest update across the model line. However, now we're seeing updates to the V9 and V85 TT models, which while more modest are still worth mentioning. I'll start with the V7 updates as like I said, that's the biggest news with the new engine boosting performance pretty significantly. The old V7 ran a 744cc air-cooled V-twin, producing just over 50 horsepower and 60 newton meters of torque. The new power plant is derived from the larger V85 TT engine, however, an 853cc V-twin, but sits somewhere between the two when it comes to performance. The new figure is 65 horsepower or a 25% increase, while torque is up 13 newton meters to 73 in total and that is peaking slightly higher in the rev range. To handle the increase in performance is a new larger card and final drive, or basically a beefed up shaft drive for those not familiar with guzzy jargon. A larger rear wheel is also fitted and it looks like that will be clad in a 150 by 70 tire as a result. The outgoing model ran an 18 inch front and 17 inch rear with a 130 by 80 rear as a point of comparison for the stone model. Motoguzzi almost promised more robust Kyaba rear shock absorbers, offering an upgrade in the suspension department and more rear travel, although it seems the 40mm front forks remain unchanged. Brakes also don't get a mention, however the V7 was already well equipped with a 320mm front rotor and Brembo 4 piston caliper, plus a 260 rear rotor and floating 2 piston caliper. Dual channel ABS was already standard fitment. The 2021 Moto Guzzi V7 drops the numerals and will be available in a special or stone version, with both receiving an updated frame with a reinforced headstock, new two-tier saddle and new rider foot peg supports. On the V7 stone, you get a new full LED lighting system, including a DRL and Moto Guzzi Eagle in the headlight design, a new instrument cluster and aluminium wheels. The special on the other hand runs a dual analog dash and features spoked rims. Both bikes feature the MG CT system or traction control and are Euro 5 compliant. The outgoing V7 stone weighed in at 190 kilos dry or in the 210 kilo range fully fueled while seat height was 770 millimeters figures unlikely to change significantly with the new model. The V7 Stone gets three satin colour options, none of which I can pronounce, and the special gets a blue formal and Grigio casual, or something along those lines. For the V9 in comparison, there'll now be two versions in 2021, the Boba and the Roma. Both will be running the same power plant as found in those updated V7s, meaning the 850cc V-twin with 65 horsepower and 73 newton meters of torque. Although in the case of the V9, that's a smaller performance boost as the existing model already ran an 850cc engine and it will of course be Euro 5. The V9 also benefits from the updated frame and shares the same brake setup as the V7s with the previous Bobber running dual 16 inch wheels while the Roma ran a 19 inch front. The V9 also runs a smaller fuel tank at 15 litres with 40mm forks, dual shock absorbers with preload adjustability and no mentions of changes here. What has been updated on the V9 is a set of rubber mounted foot pegs with the bobber benefiting from a new seat, aluminium side panels and front mudguard. Also new is the digital cluster, full LED lighting and a DRL in the headlight again in the shape of the Mandelo Eagle. Both the V9 Roma and the Bobber are only available in a single colour option as you'll have seen on the screen. Moto Guzzi's adventure themed V85 TT offers the most performance of these models, already producing 80 horsepower and 80 newton meters of torque. While we don't see a major overhaul here, Moto Guzzi are promising optimization of the timing and electronics to match for better low to mid range performance. However, there's no official figures to show the extent of those gains at this point in time. New spoked wheels are new however, saving 1.5 kilos in weight and allowing the use of tubeless tyres. The rider aid system also adds sport and custom modes, with custom being the customizable setting as you'd expect, and that joins the three existing modes. 
Standard on the V85 TT is a TFT display, traction control and ABS, as well as cruise control. We'll have to wait for the specifications, but it's likely these will mirror the outgoing model pretty closely. That is to say a 229 kilo wet weight and large 21 litre fuel tank, plus 41 millimetre upside down forks with extension and preload adjustability as Moto Guzzi put it, unlike the V7 and V9, the V85 TT also gets a mono shock with extension and preload adjustability once again. Wheels look to be the same size with a 19 inch front and 17 inch rear, while the V85 TT also boasts dual Brembo four piston calipers on the front, again on 320mm rotors and a 260mm rear with two piston caliper, more closely aligning with what's seen on the V7 and the V9 on the back of the bike. Lights were already full LED, while handguards and sump guards are also standard fitment. So that's a quick overview of the updates to the Moto Guzzi V7, V9 and V85 TT models for 2021. If you've got any questions, ask below in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them. As always, stay safe out there and thanks for watching.